I'm Abby from Grow Good Humans, and today we're going to be talking about the art element of lime. Today, I will be showing you three different activities you can do to practice using lime in your artwork. Activity number one, drawing with lime. For this activity, you will need a piece of paper and markers. You can draw whatever you would like as long as it follows these three rules. One, it's school appropriate. Two, it uses the ingredient of line. And three, it is your best effort. I'm going to be drawing a landscape or a picture of a place using line. Notice the different types of line I'm using in my artwork. Wavy, vertical, zigzag, dotted, horizontal, diagonal, curved. There are so many different types of line. What varieties will you choose to include in your artwork? Activity number two, painting with line. For this activity, you will need construction paper, a white crayon, white paint, and a paintbrush. Use the white crayon to write your name on the back of your paper before you begin painting. Again, you can paint whatever you would like as long as it follows these three rules. One, it's school appropriate. Two, it uses line. And three, it's your best effort. I will be creating a cityscape or a picture of a city for my artwork. If you find your brush is having difficulty painting a smooth line, try adding a titch more paint. That normally will help your brush glide a little easier. And finally, activity number three, building with line. For this activity, you will need clay and toothpicks. Take your clay and roll it into several balls that are about the same size. I recommend making them about the size of a mini marshmallow. Stick toothpicks into the clay to construct a three-dimensional sculpture of your choice. Thank you. 